Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Namaste Tarot. My name is Kelly. I uh, I got off work this morning around, it was a little closer to seven because I had to send some emails and do some stuff, was running around. Anyway, so I came home and I took a nap because usually what I'll do is like come home and uh, read some tarot right away because I get all excited. But, um, so yeah, I was, uh, I went and I took a nap and then when I woke up, I was checking out Facebook and as I was like scrolling through, there was like tarot cards and so I'm looking and then uh, I came across a couple of different decks that really caught my eye. Um, and I don't know which video I had talked about in the, in the past where I said, you know, support, support your metaphysical shops, support local shops, especially like during these times. So, uh, I decided to go down and, you know, just look, I had called about another deck that they didn't have. So I'll have to order that one online. But, um, but when I got there, I was really excited to see that they had one deck that I, uh, that I had seen on Amazon and they had one left. And so I was like, all right, this is divine telling me that I'm going to really enjoy this deck and hopefully it'll help with my readings. So this is an unboxing of that deck. It is called Hush Tarot by Jeremy Hush. I'm just lighting some incense right now, you guys. I know I seem a little distracted. Um, our incense, uh, some sage. I just wanted to like clear the space real quick for this. Because, um, you know, clear, clearing your space is always a good, it's always a good practice, especially like if you're reading tarot. Um, this isn't gonna be a reading though, it's just an unboxing. Oh yeah, so. This is the Hush Tarot by Jeremy Hush. Look at how beautiful that artwork is. Um, I already took off like the cellophane or whatnot. Wow, <laughs> it's so pretty, guys. Holy guacamole. It comes with like a little book here, which is very cool. I was looking on the back of the box and it said that, uh, wow. And what I like about, um, what I like about, like, tarot decks like this that come in, like, the, the bigger boxes is they always have, like, a book. And inside of it, it kind of, you know, whoever, whoever published the, the deck, they uh, will go over and kind of give their own interpretation of what they think, what the cards mean to them which is interesting. The first one that I see here is Nine of Cups, which is comfort, accomplishment, all aspects of your life are in full bloom, both beautiful and ornate. You share your air and confidence and charisma with others. So it's very, <laughs> that is very fitting for this video. Um, all right. And I didn't take the plastic off of this one, but look at that. Look at that weasel. This is the full card, wow. And I love it because I was kind of looking at some of the imagery online and I was just like, yeah, that's gonna be perfect for my intuitive readings because there's so much like hidden things in here. So we'll see what spirit has to tell us um, in future readings to come. Uh, uh. I should have prepared a little bit more. Can we open this? <laughs> Use your little claw. And stab this. He didn't listen to me and just walked away. He does that. So, my little recycling bin there. Um, let's look and see what cards this has. Okay, so I'm loving the back of the deck already. It's very, very beautiful. Um, it's got like like these skulls here and everything is just mirroring each other. Oh, and there's like eyes. Very cool, I love that like ornate design there too. Very, very cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go through the major arcanas here with you guys and then, um, 
and then hopefully uh, you guys will stay tuned for some of my readings that are going to be coming up. I think I'm probably going to include these in the readings I have. So we have the Fool, which is just beautiful. Look at that little moth up there up by his head. So pretty. The Magician. This one's a little bit darker, guys. So if you get a little squeamish, it's it's kind of witchy. Um, but this is the magician. It looks like she just made like some sort of like animal sacrifice there. And you see there's like this big, huge, like demon kind of coming out of the smoke there. Wow, that is so incredibly cool. The high priestess here. I really can't wait to just like dive in and take a look at all of these. I love this because she's like listening to the birds. Like the birds are telling her messages. So neato. And the high priest is the, the very intuitive, very intuitive sign. Or very intuitive. You guys get what I'm saying. Wow. This might be a little bit more, more of a morbid deck, you guys. But I'm going to tell you I'm loving it. The Empress. See how there's like bees flying around her? Like bees are a symbol for abundance. And the high priestess is definitely an abundant um, queen of queens. Wow, the emperor, that's an amazing interpretation of the emperor. Very cool. The hierophant. Here are the lovers next. This is kind of giving me some like a Hindu Hindu feeling just because like the color of this man's skin. Yeah. The chariot. <laughs> How neat. It's like a carousel horse. There's like all of these like little toys down here in the water. Interesting. It's almost as if she's like a, a tiny little fairy. Like, I feel like this is a very small being just because of, like, how small those flowers are or how big the flowers are in comparison to her. Strength. Whoa. Neato. I think this is the first strength card that I've seen that doesn't have the, um, the lion in it. It does have a lot of moths and a lot of bats. And if you guys watched my, um... If you guys watched my Scorpio video yesterday, I was talking about how bath, bats are like a new way of thinking, a change in, a, like a big change in your way of thinking, and it's also like a big change in life, like a new direction. So that's inter interesting, because you definitely have to have strength in order to accept that change fully. Here's the hermit. Guy is just like, just beautiful imagery. Wow, here's the will. That ant is just on top of that leaf, but at any time, it's like that leaf could become submerged in the water and just like turn over. How neat. Wow, justice. Here she comes. Here she comes with her bees and her ants and the sword. Oh, she's got like an axe actually and an arrow. Yeah, she ain't playing guys. Um, the hangman. Neat. Huh. Wow. Death. That's a cool card. That's really beautiful. Like I love the fact that it has this like human skull there to represent the death but at, at the same time you have these eggs here waiting to hatch which also signifies that rebirth temperance interesting hmm. temperance is like the alchemist you know she's like balancing out all of these energies also getting like strong witchy vibes from her too interesting the devil. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, the 
That is so pretty, guys. Look at all those red poppies. <gasps> I love it. I don't know if you guys have seen my tattoo, but I have like red poppies on my arm. So, wow. And there's a cat like holding up this double mask. <laughs> it's Joey. Hmm. I like this representation of the tower because it really does show like how like there's really nothing left it's deserted like you can't go back and you know go back to your way of thinking but at the same time there's like this family of birds there um that shows that even after like tower moments there there's like a new way of life you know that tower wasn't it wasn't a waste star card so beautiful I love this deck you guys this is freaking awesome I really like the um, the imagery look at this the moon it's so cool hmm so oh, pretty. The sun. I'll have to look up um, what rats signify here. There's like these little white rats down there. This is judgment. This is a wake up call. This arch here too. Mm. Very cool guys. I can't wait to like really dive into these cards and like start seeing what messages spirit wants me to, to read off of them. The world. How beautiful. Just a beautiful, beautiful deck. I look forward to it. Um, thank you so much for staying tuned and watching my uh, unboxing unbox it. Look, I just have to show you. This is the Ace of Cups. Like, wow. So pretty. It's so pretty. The King of Pentacles. Yeah, this is going to be like a darker shadow deck for sure. Hmm. I think this is Ace of Wands. That's so cool. Love it. Okay. Thank you for watching, you guys. Thank you. And may the light be with you, I should say. And namaste. Namaste.